back to the YouTube channel, Pro Enzo Vids, and this is my review on the win that um, Manly won. Uh, yeah, my review basically on the game that just finished between Manly and the Raiders, and we won 25 points to six. Just lost four words because, uh, yeah, no, that, that game took a lot of energy out of me, you know, constantly getting up and shouting from the TV and that. So, you know, it just, uh, yeah, a lot, lot, lot of energy took, took, took a, yeah, a lot of energy out of me that game, but. No, look, I still got to do the review because it was a good win and um, very happy with it. So, yeah, um, before I start, thank you to those who subscribe, who should have recently subscribed to the channel. Um, reached 1,620 subscribers the other day, so it looks like the support keeps on getting bigger and bigger, so I really do appreciate it. So, um, like I said, you know, if, if you're new to the channel, I would recommend you to subscribe if you can. And, um, yeah, no, but just more, mostly more appreciative of the, of the recent support. It means a lot. Um, but yeah, to get into the review now, um, yeah, so look, it was obviously a nice, nice day at Mudgee, you know, the weather looked really good there, um, you know, there was actual, actual sun there, unlike there is in Sydney, so, you know, um, but yeah, no, look, the, the weather was very good, I think, I think on a dry track, it really does benefit Manly a lot more, because I think on a dry track, you see the best of Turbo, DCE, and, you know, all our main players really just play well on a dry track, you know, so, um, yeah, look, I, look. I knew that I knew that we would benefit from that. I knew we would go well on a dry track because last week, even though we we defeated the Bulldogs by by a point in the wet, um, you know, I knew that wasn't our best performance. But I know that on a dry track, we'd play to our best and we'd really um turn up and turn up and get a good win. So and well, today I was hoping for a good win and we got it. So yeah, look, it, look, the, the start was good by us as well. I think I was really impressed with our start. Ruben Garrick obviously scored a try early on from nice Tolatel Kula step and and pass and i gotta say shout out to Tolatau cooler as well you know i think cooler and he's staying the team i think cooler definitely brings a lot more effect to that left side that's not saying park is a bad player but you know just looking at how we played today with him being that side i think he brings a lot out of that left side and is a real threat and i think someone like four can really unlock that potential with him you know so uh, hopefully cooler stays i hope so but knowing des he probably will act in the next week but Look, we'll see what happens, but Cool had a good game today, so hopefully he gets more game time as the year goes on. But uh, yeah, that was a nice try by Garrick, and he converts to go 6 0. Then uh, not long after, Morgan Harper scores. And yeah, I've got to say, Morgan Harper, this is one of his best, best performances this year. Probably, probably is his best performance all year, you know. Um, it's been a, bit, been, been a couple of tough weeks for Harper, you know. I guess at the end of last year in the finals, it's where that sort of might have ruined him in the finals, you know, it's his confidence a bit, but. I think he, when he scored, when he scored that try and the, and the defense he uh, put up today, his defense was actually excellent. I was really happy with his defense, and I, I guess that try he scored um, in the first half as well when when Amelia went up twelve nil, um, or no ten nil. Sorry, we, we missed the kick, but um, yeah, no, that that try will definitely bring a lot of confidence out of Harper. I think he'd be a lot more happy with that. Um, I think he's going to be very proud of his game today. So no, that's good for Harper. I, I am happy for him. I, I will admit I've been a little bit critical of him to start the season. And, um, but no, he's done. He's done well today. I think he's done well, well enough to keep his spot for another week. So hopefully, he can back it up against Newcastle. That's similar type performance. But yeah, we'll one to Harper on that try. Um, but then yeah, a couple of minutes later, it was sort of back and forth for a bit. You know, there wasn't much going on. And then after that, Jack Wine scored. You know, Jack Wine. That this is how Jack Wine scores most of his tries. You know, he's too close to the line. Uh, he's too big, too strong, close to the line. He scores. You know, that this is how Jack Wine scores most of his tries when he's um steps off the left foot or the right foot and scores pretty much close to the line. So it's it's very hard to uh, to handle something like that close to the line. But anyway, uh, mainly ten Raiders six, and that was a half time score. Then, then I think for about uh fifteen to twenty minutes of the first of, of the second half, it was really locked up for, for a, a long time. Like there wasn't much going on between both sides. It was really back and forth for a bit. And that, so, yeah, I was getting a bit frustrated because in the second half, Manly had one, two, three, four, four chances in that second half. You know, that that, that four chances, chances in that second half to really do something in score, but we kept fucking it up, I guess, by making knock-ons. Not, not, not that I'm going to get, get too worried about that because it doesn't matter now, but, you know, when we have that many opportunities to score close to that line, you think we would at least convert and capitalise on one of them. So, it is what it is, but... You know, I was just hoping that we could sort of start the start the second half how we, how we how I wanted to start it by scoring quickly in the in the second minute of the second half. But anyway, that doesn't matter. We still won, and and um, yeah, I think uh, I think the game really the the what's it called? Uh, what's what's the word? It's I lost the word. It's uh, it's basically where the, the uh, far out. I lost the word. It's a, it's a word that everyone uses when it's uh, uh, yeah okay, but uh. 
Um, it's, it's a word where it's very tight for a bit, but then like it, the game explodes open. Like that, that's what I'm trying to re refer to. The game exploded open after being tight for such a, for, for such a long time when Ola Kawatu scored. And yeah, Ola Kawatu got scored off a nice DC kick. And far out DC is good today. It's, it's always good to see DC turn up and play a good game. So yeah, he, he um, set up the nice try for Ola Kawatu there and uh, mainly went 16 points to 6. And um, yeah, I think from there, I was a bit more confident mainly going with the win. And um, yeah, we did. Um, after that, after he scored, it was backed up by Turbo. Turbo, nice try. Uh, Turbo was very good today as well. Uh, he uh, took the most hit-ups and pretty short today as well, which I'm a bit surprised because I thought our forwards would, would do a lot more than a lot more than what Turbo would do in the in the hit-up in the hit-up category. But oh uh, well, oh uh, well, he had a good game today. Turbo, I was very impressed with him, and he scored. So mainly went up 22 to six at that point. And then we had a penalty, and um, I was like, okay, go for the try again. But instead, we went for the two for some reason. I was like, okay, yeah, I guess I, I get it. You want to guess to play it safe, but we're up twenty two six. You know, why not? Why not? You know, put the knife and knife in the Raiders' hearts and score basically. You know, because we had a chance, we had the momentum, we we had, we had the momentum. Raiders, the Raiders were on the back foot there, so we could have really just scored. But anyway. Uh, take what you get. There was 24 points to six. And then, uh, yeah, to really end off the whole game with about five or four minutes left, DC with a nice field goal. And that's uh, 25 field goals in DC's uh, career now. So that's a um, very good achievement that DC can be proud of. 25 field goals. How good is that? So, yeah, we won the game 25 points to six. Uh, very proud of the boys. And, um, no, that helps a lot. That helps a lot with our, how we play and, I guess, the confidence around the club. Because, I guess, a win like that, Goes to show you that that's what we can do when we're at our best. And um, it's a real improvement from how we've been for the past three rounds. So very proud of that. Um, my, my, top three, my top three players on ground. So number three, I'm going to go with um, Josh Aloye. Aloye was absolutely fantastic. Um, he, you know, we like, everyone's been talking about Manly's forward pack and how it's, it lacks that energy and lacks the intent. But Aloye just, you know, he was just like... You know, fuck it. Give me the ball and let me run the ball. Let me run and show what show show how the forwards should be running. And that's what LIA did today. It was a good example of that. And I think he's no brainer, a starting front row for us. I think to go on for the rest of the season. I think. I think he's a starter. Um, if, if he plays like that every week, then he's no doubt a starting player. So great performance by LIA. So I'll give him a couple of points for that. Number two, I'll give it to Tom Trevich. Tommy Turbo is absolutely absolutely excellent. Love love me some Turbo, honestly. Um, fantastic performance by Tom and um. Yeah, I think he set up a try and I got a try as well. So that's um, very good. So, um, yeah, I'll give him two points. I mean, my man in the match, it's pretty obvious who it's going to be. It will be Daily Cherry Evans. I, th I thought the captain was very good for us. Um, very proud of his performance and how he st 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 steered the side in our win. And, um, yeah, no, it's good, it's good that DC had a good game. Got got a 20-40 and a 40-20. So that, that makes his night even better. But, yeah, no, look, that was a good win, and I'm very impressed with it. So hopefully we can back up against Newcastle next week. So everyone, that's my review on the Manly vs Raiders game. Hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the very next one.